fine sir okay i'm done so in the last class i am discussing about the parallel combination of resistors okay. oh, sorry a series combination of resistance we have completed and today we will discuss the parallel combination of resistances parallel combination of resistance very easy topic is it <clears throat> so earlier we have series combination and i have told you in the series combination see here the current is same in the series combination the current is same <clears throat> because in the series combination the wire is same there are no branching so you can say the current is same okay. now we will discuss uh, the parallel combination uh okay yeah so now parallel combination write the heading parallel combination of resistors kam kar do parallel combination of <coughs> resistance so in the parallel combination resistances are connected like this please focus here each and everything will be clear this is the resistance r1 this is resistance r2 this is resistance r2 r3 these are connected in the uh, parallel combination okay the parallel combination looks like this resistances here are connected to end to end and to end connection of resistances so on the we will see what will happen with the voltage and what what will happen with the current now i am just defining the current how the current will be divided so this is the battery here are you getting my voice clearly yes sir okay so this is the battery and from this battery suppose the i amount of current is flowing like this i amount of current is flowing like this and from here to here the wire is same but at from this junction point the current will be divided i have told you due to the branching the current divides here the i1 current flows in this wire i2 current flows here 
I3 and the wire is same, so the current will remain same. This is I1, sorry. This is I2, because the wire is same, the current is same. Here also the current is same. And at this junction point, this current, this current and this current will meet and they will become a equivalent current of this. They will become I. So I can write I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. I can write this. This I is dividing in three parts. This is our equation one. No. <clears throat> what about the voltages? I am drawing the same circuit again for the voltages. We have seen the distribution of current. Now we will see the distribution of voltage. So, from this was the circuit earlier. Three resistances are connected in parallel. This is like this. Okay, and this was the circuit now. Just wait for one minute. Okay, just. So, Amza, see this. This is the same circuit I have drawn. So, now we will see how the voltage will be divided. Concentrate here. See here. Here V is the voltage. V is the voltage here. If you are taking this point as and taking this point, this point as A, this point as B, and this point is connected to as higher potential, and this point B is here. So, this point at point A, the potential is VA. At this point, also, the potential is VA. At this point also the potential is VA. I have told you the potential will not change, change until and unless there is a hindrance or there is a resistance in the path. So from here to here there is no resistance. Here also the potential is VA. See here also the potential. Why? Because just we are moving like this and in the path, there is no resistance, but when you move, when you cross this resistance, then the potential will drop. Then the potential will drop. Now, here also, if you are going here, 
here also the potential is ba here also the potential is ba because if you are you are moving from here to here as there is no resistance and this is point b so i am just supposing here the potential if b v so you are moving like this this is here also the potential is v because when you are moving from here to here in between there is no nothing that means there is no resistance now move like this like this here also potential is vv so you can say here also the potential is vv here also the potential is vv and here also the potential is v now see the circuit very carefully see the circuit very carefully hamza now if you want to calculate the potential this is potential this is potential potential difference across r1 if you want to calculate potential difference across r1 see the potential difference of potential now you will write va minus vb and i am just representing the potential difference across r1 as v1 okay now if you want to write v2 that is potential difference across v2 what we what i will write v2 means potential difference across r2 then you will again write potential difference across r2 is va minus vv and this va minus vv is v this va minus vv is equal to v i want to write if you should arrange the concept all the v3 v3 is sorry this is this is r1 this is r2 and this is r3 okay i am this i am explaining this v3 so i will again write va minus vv and this is again is equal to vc here va minus vv potential difference across r3 very simple so you have seen the distribution of current in the parallel combination and distribution of voltage across the or resistors in the parallel combination now i can write this equation i can take this equation i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 i can write this please concentrate this is i can write now what i am doing i am doing this instead of these three resistances i have taken an equivalent resistance 
and same battery of voltage v is there same battery of voltage v is there and current i is again flowing current will remain same because this time the wire is same so i current if is emerging from this side this i current will flow throughout the circuit i so from here i can calculate this i i is equal to potential difference divided by resistance what is the resistance here r equivalent okay amda this is the thing now if you want to calculate i1 you can calculate uh, i1 also if you want to calculate i1 so i1 is equal to v1 and what is v1 see here yaar v1 v1 is equal to v so i am just writing here i i can write i is equal to v divided by r equivalent if i want to calculate i1 i1 is equal to v1 by r1 plus v2 by r2 plus v3 by r3 and we know that v1 equal to v2 equal to v3 is equal to v in this is the parallel combination so this will be followed so i can write equivalent resistance instead of v1 i will write v and r1 is same instead of v2 i will write v and r1 r2 sorry instead of v3 i will write v and r3 now v v v take the common v from all the terms take the common v as common you will get 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 okay so v and v both are cancel out and you have this formula equivalent resistance is equal to r1 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 so this formula you can use for calculating the equivalent resistance and if you have n number of resistances suppose you if you have five resistances then you will write 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon rt r3 plus 1 upon r4 and so on you can write like this if you have n resistances okay so for n resistances small n resistors connected in parallel so if you want to calculate the equivalent resistance of this combination then you will write 1 upon r1 1 upon r2 1 upon r3 and accordingly you will add up all the resistances like this 1 upon r suffix n this will be the formula for if you have n resistances okay Kanza noted down. Take the screenshot.
Hamza, uh, take on the screenshot. Yes, sir. Okay, now take the screenshot of this because these notes are very, very important for you. Okay, very good. Now take this. Take this. And arrange these screenshots in a proper order. Otherwise, you will get okay. confused. So now this is all okay. Now, now, what I am doing, I am just taking this circuit again. Uh, you have to see the circuit again and again because everything that i am writing all these things are from according to the circuit only see here now first we can find the current in each resistance we can find the voltage potential difference across each resistance we can find the power loss power loss in each resistance we can find the equivalent resistance so equivalent resistance we have found we have calculated now we will calculate other things and all the things all the things will be all the things will be according to the circuit only so first i am just calculating the total voltage So Hamza, see here, total voltage is this. The yes, sir. Total voltage is the voltage of battery. So Vt is this is equal to V. Second, voltage across R1, R2, R3. Voltage across each resistor. Can you tell me what will be the value of V1, V2, V3? Um, no, sir. Hmm? No, sir. But I have told you now here. I have told you. This is V1. V1 is equal to V. Where are you, Hamza? V1 yes, is equal to V and V2 is equal to V yes. and V3 is better. You have to concentrate, otherwise, this is a little bit complex. V1 and is equal to V2 is equal to V3. Yeah, or because because this is just the parallel combination. First, concentrate. V1 is equal to V2. Is equal. No problem, that's fine. V3, all voltages are same. Now third part. Third part. That is why I am teaching you not with the fast, fast speed. So if I want to find the total current, I. Uh, see here, I have told you total current will be like this and from here the current will be divided. I have told you this 
earlier also see here this current will be so total current you can find now from this circuit i have find the total current v divided by r equivalent total current so i is equal to total current is equal to total voltage divided by equivalent resistance i is equal to total voltage is v and this is equivalent resistance we will solve question also fourth part current through each resistor means current through resistor 1 is i1 is equal to v1 by r1 but v1 we know that equal to v and that is equal to r1 so if you want to calculate i2 then you will write v divided by r2 if you want to want to calculate i3 then you will write v divided by r3 so this part power dissipated across each resistor power dissipated sir can you do little bit of have to take screenshot uh what sir can you do little bit of i need to take screenshot little bit of this like this na from second point yeah no sir from first from first point na no? okay hum i will give you the time for taking a screenshot uh, okay okay no problem otherwise uh, class will be disturbed na no? so i will give you the proper time you can take the screenshot power dissipated in each resistor and i am representing power with p and p1 is the power dissipated in the resistance one this so, means loss right yeah yeah uh, i am giving you one example also i am giving you one example also right now you can check your laptop uh, there will be some heating in the laptop okay in the phone also there will be some heating uh, yeah power is lost in form of heat heat ha huh? this is happening because i have told you the concept of resistance actually what happens when the current flows through the wire and i have told you the wire have the resistance due to the collision of electron with the ions and when the current flows mean the charge flows the electron collide with each other due to that due to that some energy is converted into the heat energy that actually we are supplying the electrical energy to the wire this voltage what is this 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 is the battery here this is the electrical energy we are supplying to the, our circuit but what is happening when the current is flowing in the resistance or in the wire and wire have some resistance this energy will be lost in the form of heat example you can take the heating of the laptop the heating of the iron okay we cannot uh, just finish this eliminate this if the wire have the resistance then power will always loss in the form of heat so i have told you the formula of power also that is i1 is square into r 1 and there is one more formula v1 is square divided by r1 and there is one more formula v1 and i1 but you can use any formula i am just using this formula because the 
I am using this formula because I know the voltage is same in the parallel combination. So Hamza, you can write V1 as V square divided by R1. With the practice, you can do it easily. For P2, you can write V square divided by R2. For P3, you will write P square divided by R2. We will solve one question, then this will be clear. So, if you want to calculate the total power, six dissipated in the circuit in the form of heat. P suffix T is the total power. You can just add the power because power is a scalar quantity and we can add algebraically. P1 plus plus P3. Total power is P1 is V square by R1 plus V square divided by R2 plus V square divided by R3. Now, you can take V square common. R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now, this thing is, Hamza, what is this? 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. You can check your notes also. Yes, sir. Uh, what is this? this in the bracket the thing the resistance yeah resistance but what you will call it but one one minute just see here one upon r1 plus one upon r2 plus one upon r3 is equal to equivalent resistance yeah very good we have to relate all the things Total power is equal to V square divided by R equivalent. You can either calculate power by that method or this method. Okay, now you can take the screenshots. Yes. Taken this? No, sir, one minute. Okay, I'm just sure. Uh, please. Okay, you can take. Uh, sir, sir, can you show from the top so it's easier? Yeah. From here, na? Yes. Okay. Done? Okay. I'm just scrolling down. No, sir, one minute. Uh, my screenshot was... Uh, okay, successful. okay, okay, okay. No problem. But uh, I am telling it again and again. Arrange the screenshot yes, in, a prop in a proper form. Otherwise, there will be yes, no sir. use. Yeah. Sir, next. Yeah. Take this now. Then. Okay. This is very, very easy concept. These are very easy concepts. Then. Okay. Then. Fine. Now, finally, this. Take this. Now we will solve one one yeah. question. Uh, now we will solve one question and each and everything will be clear. Just relax and see. With the help of this question.
here is r1 that is equal to 5 ohm here is r2 that is equal to 10 ohm and a 100 volt battery is connected to this combination this combination is parallel combination parallel combination this is looking like this now by the geometry also you can end to end connection like this okay now we have to calculate all these all the things number 1 we have to calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit equivalent resistance we have to calculate second part we have to calculate the total voltage third part we have to calculate the total current fourth part we have to calculate the voltage across each resistor each resistor fifth part current through each each resistor sixth part power dissipated across each resistor and total power dissipated power dissipated in each resistor and total power dissipated And that do you have pen or copy? No, sir. Uh, do you have pen and copy with you? No, but I can get them. Hmm. Ha. Huh, you can get na and get the uh, copy and pen and I am just giving you the seven minutes and just try this question. Okay. By yourself. Okay. And you can. you can check your notes also for solving this very easy question this is and i will solve i will also solve this question but i want that at least you should try this very easy things okay so now please try it i am giving you a uh, time of you can take 7 to 10 minutes 7 to 10 minutes you can take and very simple question this is you can check uh, the notes means you can take the reference from here also at least try and i will solve after you okay and when i will i am will solve then you can check your answer also if you are not getting any part then you can leave that part
हमजा हैव यू कंप्लीटेड बेटा हमजा यस ऑलमोस्ट ओके प्लीज जस्ट गो हेड ओके डन डन ओके नाउ डोंट टेल मी द आंसर यू यू कैन चेक योर आंसर बाय योर सेल्फ आई एम जस्ट सॉल्विंग नाउ एंड सी व्हाट द व्हाट मिस्टेक्स यू आर डूइंग Okay. Now, first thing is we have to calculate the equivalent resistance. We have to calculate the equivalent resistance. Now, see. Answer first. Great. Let's check your answers now, and see the method that I am using here. They are asking the equivalent resistance, so. i am just taking the circuit here because we at every moment there is a requirement of this circuit okay now see here we can we can increase the size also okay fine now see here this was r1 that is 5 ohm and they are asking the equivalent resistance so for the equivalent resistance we will use this formula we have two resistance so we will use 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 if we have three then we will use 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 1 upon r equivalent is equal to 1 upon this will be 5 1 upon this will be 1 upon 10 then r equivalent from here take the lcm This is ten. This is two plus one. This will become three by ten, and R equivalent, you will get ten by three ohm. The first answer is this. Secondly, they are asking the uh, total voltage. The total voltage is hundred volt. Simple. They are asking the total voltage V sub sixty. Total voltage is a hundred volt. They are asking total current. Third part. Total current is I. In this circuit, total current is this I, and this I will divide it here, I one and I two. Here also the current is I. Current divides the two branching. So I is equal to total voltage. Total current is equal to total voltage divided by R equivalent. So total voltage is hundred. R equivalent is ten by three. So this three will come in you know in numerator. Then you will multiply this three here. So you will get thirty ohm. Or oh, thirty ampere. Sorry. so total current you have 30 ampere this is your second third answer and they are asking the fourth part see the circuit this is the circuit and fourth part is voltage across each resistor voltage across each resistor this is the parallel combination so voltage across each resistor will be same that is 100 volt this part current through each resistor current through each resistor means i1 when you will calculate i1 you will use i1 is equal to v1 by r1 and v1 is equal to 100 so i1 is equal to v1 by r1 v1 is 100 r1 is 5 uh, no R1 is uh, 
v1 by r1 mm, r1 is five so this will become 20 ampere if you want to calculate i2 then you you will write v2 by r2 v2 is again 100 and r2 is 10 you will get 10 ampere now from here also you can calculate this total current i1 is 20 i2 is 10 30 ampere total current you can also calculate from this is the total current this is the total current and uh, the uh, we have calculated the current through each resistor i1 i2 means current through resistor 1 and resistor 2 now we will calculate the power dissipated in each resistor and total power now we will calculate the this is the sixth part power dissipated in resistance 1 is equal to v square by r1 or you can either write i1 square r1 depending upon you you can use any of the formula i am just using this formula v square is 100 square r1 is 5 so this will become 100 into 100 divided by 5 so this will become 2000 watt or joule per second the unit of power is joule per second because power is energy rate of flow of energy is power energy divided by time so unit of energy is joule and unit of si unit of time is second and for p2 you will write 100 divided by 10 so you will get 3000 uh, not 3000 1000 1000 you will get so 1000 watt or you can say you can write joule per second if you want to calculate the total power then add P1 plus P2. So 2000 watt plus 1000 watt is equal to 3000 watt. There is one more method to solve this. I have told you total power. See here. Total power is equal to V square divided by R equivalent. Total power is equal to V square. V is same everywhere because this is parallel combination. V square means 100 square. And R equivalent we have 10 by 3. This 3 will go in numerator. You will get 3000 again. So both answer are same. Either of the method you can use 3000 watt. So this is the final answer. Now you can note the answer down. Please take the screenshot and you and you can check your.
done so done and this one okay sorry sir one minute can you go up i think i did not take the full screen done done okay done 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 this one also done sir can you show that page where you wrote all the questions i'll take the screenshot of that as well this na yes this one okay then have you understood this question shonda and how many answer you you have got correct shonda sir i knew all this hmm i knew most of it very good very good okay there is one more question this is 5 ohm this is 20 ohm this is 20 ohm and i am supposing this as r1 this as r2 this as r3 the battery connected is of 100 volt and we have to calculate number 1 r equivalent second we have to calculate the voltage and current across each resistor
So you can do a little bit of yeah. Don't think about this issue. <clears throat> okay, Anga. So what you will do in this question? See here. We'll add up the parallel. Very good, very good. I'm just telling. You can just check. This is this combination is series or parallel? It's parallel and then series also. Very good. This is parallel combination. So what we will do? One by will... two, one by twenty plus one by twenty. Yeah, you will you will get the answer ten. That I know. I am. I want to just uh, another things to know. Just wait. I know you can solve it. This resistance you can calculate na equivalent resistance twenty and twenty. When you will calculate this twenty and twenty, so one upon R equivalent is equal to one by twenty plus one by twenty. You will get one by ten, and R equivalent you will get as ten ohm. Okay. So instead of this, I can take an equivalent resistance of 10 ohm, and this is we have 5 ohm. So R1 we have this, and now I am supposing this as R23. This is R23. Now remember this circuit. This circuit is very very important for you. So now equivalent resistance you can calculate now. 10 plus 5. Now this is this whole combination is series combination. You can calculate this ten plus five. So first part, first part is very simple. So R equivalent. No, R, this is the R equivalent of this. Okay, this is the R equivalent of this. I, I am just representing this with some other. This is not. So, Amza, we can write here. Just wait. R R two three. I am right. Okay, Amza. Now point na R two three. So now, if you want to find the R one two three, R one two three is the equivalent resistance of this circuit. Yes. One two three. So how will you will how you will calculate five plus ten? This will become R one plus R. Two three. This will become five plus ten. Yes. This will become fifteen. Fifteen. Very good. First answer is done. Now we have to calculate the voltages and the current. We have to calculate the voltages and the current across each resistance. So we require this. 
all both the circuit okay wait okay fine okay now look here very carefully this time this thing is very easy but this thing is a little bit complex for you So now see here. We know all these things. We have just calculated. So uh, 100 volt battery is there. And uh, No. I have told you current I will flow from this battery like this. Here also the current is I. Here also the current is I. Here also the current is I. Okay. Means, but this here is a branching. Here is a branching. So the current here will be I1 and here the current will be I2. Means I1 is the current flowing in R2 resistance and I2 is the current flowing in R3 resistance. So, this if I want to calculate this I, if I want to calculate this I, what I will do? This is the total current. Total current means you will take total voltage divided by R equivalent. What is total voltage? This 100 and R equivalent is 10 plus 5, 15. So you will get this. Uh, 20 by 3 ampere. So Hamza, we have found the total current I. I is the total current. See here, this is the total current. Here also the I will flow. But Across R2 and R3, the current will be different. So, 20 by 3 ampere is the total current. Now, Hamza, let's see. This I is also flowing across R1. So, we can say, we can say, current in, current in resistance, R1 is I and that is I is equal to 20 by 3 ampere. Fine. Now, if you want to calculate the voltage across R1, voltage across R1 that is V1, if you want to find V1, if you want to find V1, you have a formula V1 is equal to I1. You will take I1 into R1. And V1, what is the value of I1? Means I1 means what is what I am saying I1? Means I1 means current through this resistor is 20 by 3. I1 is 20 by 3. And resistance value is 5 ohm. So this will become. 100 by 3 volt. Is it or not? 
so potential difference across the resistance one we have 100 by 3 volts now now see am the this 100 volt now come to this circuit this we have 100 and across this the voltage is v1 and across this r23 the voltage is v2 and here is the current voltage is v2 now if you want to find this v2 if you want to find this v2 then you can write v is equal to v1 plus v2 from here you can write from this circuit you can write 100 is equal to v1 plus v2 so this is v v uh, v is given as 100 and v1 is 100 by 3 plus v2 so you will get v2 100 minus 100 by 3 this will become take the lcm of this as 3 this will become 300 minus 100 this will become 200 divided by 3 Volt. So now we have V two. Now we have V two. This V two we have. Okay, fine, fine. Now let let's uh, make V two properly. We have this now. this is r2 this is r3 20 ohm 20 ohm and i current is flowing here and i1 is going here and i i2 is going here okay fine okay you can change this current i1 this write this as this resistance is 3 you can write this i3 and this you can write i2 no problem with this i2 and i3 so this will become i3 this is i2 no problem we can change the symbol accordingly as we want and they are saying the voltage across this see here the voltage v2 see the circuit this circuit here v2 v2 is this means v2 is across across r23 and r23 is this circuit means across this circuit circuit the voltage is 200 by 3 voltage is 200 by 3 volts but hamza these r3 and r2 are in parallel so what will be the value of voltage across r2 that is v2 what is the value and v3 if i am talking about this circuit hamza can you tell me in yes. parallel com in in parallel combination voltages are same or not yes so this voltage will be of this means across the across resistance to this resistance the voltage is this volts this is series combination na and across this also but i have written this v2 and v3 according to this circuit according to this circuit and here i have written v v2 and v3 according to this circuit v1 and v2 according to this circuit so now we have voltages now we have voltages
so we can find the current also i2 i2 is equal to v is equal to i r so i2 is equal to v2 divided by r2 v2 is this hamza are you getting or not yaar hamza yes sir actually so you will get when you will cancel this out you will get 10 by 3 ampere i3 you will get v3 by r3 and v3 what you will take v3 v3 is this 200 by 3 and r3 is 20 again you will get this answer so we have find the voltages and current across each and every resistor see here we have find i1 v1 we have this we have i1 r1 is this i1 we have this i1 and we have v1 this is v1 this is i1 i1 is the current across resistance 1 v1 is the voltage across the resistance 1 v2 is the voltage across resistor 2 means 20 ohm resistor v3 is the okay voltage across resistance 3 and i2 is the current across the resistor 2 and i3 is the current across the resistor 3 this is the whole thing you have to practice this question at least two times okay amda otherwise yes, sir. otherwise you will forgot this forgot this question and how i have solved tomorrow you should revise this question okay hamza take the screenshots this question is little bit complex for you i can understand but we will continue this in the next class but please revise your notes i am just saying it again and again and i am just giving you a the homework okay, that okay sir done yeah you should just try this question at your home okay revise this question once again and try to solve this question by yourself so then from till here do you have completed this completed yes sir and this one all right sir yes okay. done very good now now take this done but i have and arrange the screenshot in a proper manner otherwise no use otherwise all the thing now anza <coughs> this that's all for today and uh solve this question only once <coughs> try this question at your home all all your concepts will be clear and um, so hamza what is the unit of resistance the yes sir yes sir something i am just asking what is the unit of resistance Unit of what? Resistance, resistance. Oh, ah. resistance. Ohm, ohm. Very good. What is the unit of current? I current I. Mm, current is ampere. Very good. Unit of charge. Unit of charge is coulomb. Very good. Uh, what is Ohm's law? 